What's going on, Pokey Tubers? We are back with more collection buyouts. Today we have four different collections in the video, totaling about $3,000 worth of buyouts. Um, everything you see will generally be for sale on the TikTok stream, as well as at our upcoming shows. We'll just start here with the, the smallest and kind of work our way up to what I would say the coolest vintage stuff here at the end. Got a nice mix of some new stuff some Twilight Masquerade and things like that that we haven't had a lot of singles of come through. Say it's mostly English, but there are some Japanese hits here. I haven't seen some of these cards in person, even from opening Twilight Masquerade. Haven't been able to pull everything from the amount of packs I've opened. So starting off with some Japanese ARs. This one's pretty cool. Little V-Star Universe. Some of the new Terra Shinies. The Greninja is super cool. Got a bunch of the new mask Pokemon. Some golds. More Greninjas in English. It's pretty cool. Luxray. Another mask one. There's a shiny mask. Iron Thorns. Haven't been getting a lot of Temporal or Paradox Rift. Uh, trade in or sale, so it's good to have some of this stock come through. These are some promos for Pokemon Center, Lechonk. These are real nice. The GameStop Umbreon promos. I think those are like 15, 16 bucks a piece. If you guys are enjoying these collection buyout videos, make sure you drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Dragapult's really cool. Tink and Ton, that one already has a price on it. I think that's pretty close to right. A couple of the newer golds, if we're calling them that, and then the classic gold there. So that's collection number one. Collection two, I think the top loaded ones are the higher end ones here. I think this is the most expensive card in a lot, about 30 bucks. It's a pretty low end lot, but some cool stuff nonetheless. This is a neat art, haven't got to see yet. There's the Wellspring mask. These are kind of cool. I don't know how people like the mass Pokemon long term, but I'm excited for some of the newer sets with some of these new Pokemon as well. There's the Hearth Flame Prime Catcher. That's a TCG player, TCG player. Any of the really playable trainers, usually just put them on TCG player because, or playable cards in general, just because they move a lot quicker. Now it's the higher end ones. Let's see what's on the lower side. Got Sableye Hollows, Kyogre, Character Rares, Promo Hollows, your basic shiny EXs. So a lot of these will go into our uh, mystery bags, booster bags, whatever you want to call them. Oh, there's old Palafin. That one. Scarring that. Well, Trio and the um, Palmy. Some of the lowest dollar character rares feels like there's ever been. Garbador, Jirachi, some more trainers, Garatina, Secret Box. I do still really enjoy the new Ace spec trainers. I think they look pretty cool. Greninja, Altaria, that's a cool one for the, the galleries. Hard to keep track of all the Ace specs and what the values are though, but. Like I said, most of those go TCG player. We got a couple more stacks in this lot. Garchomp EX, that's Paradox Rift. That's a cool one. Well, every time I see it, I'm like, that's a cool one. What else we got here? That's a Cornerstone Mask. Blissey. Little classic shiny there. Bunch of sealed, I think these are sealed promos. Those are like a dollar or two still. Charizard, that is Paldean Fates, Master Balls, Garatina, Mudsdale. There's another shiny mask, two of those. Aerodactyl, Ursa Luna. I want to see that new, the new Ursa Ring all art at some point in person. I haven't got to see it yet. Haven't done a show since. May, I guess. Nothing in June yet. Just nothing worked out time-wise. But 
We have the Brotherly Love Show this Sunday, June 30th. That's Voorhees, New Jersey. It's a decent show. Probably only like 20% Pokemon though, but uh, eight foot tables is nice. Easy, nice parking location if you're in the Philly, Jersey area. And then we have Collecticon in Edison coming up towards the end of July. It's gonna be awesome. Which, and I also think we're doing the Collecticon Richmond in August. So it's like a month later. So we'll also be down there. Pinsir, love this art. I had seen that in Japanese, but the first time seeing it in English. Lance, I remember that went up to like 40 bucks at one point, 30, 40 bucks. I think it's back way down now, but Lugia B Star. We got, there's one tag team. We got a lot of cards to price out ahead of Sunday. There is the Ursa Luna Blood Moon right there. What else we got here? Deoxys EX. That is 2013. A little, a little bit of whitening on the back, but that's a cool one to see. XY moves really good. Pidgeotto. Heavy Gold Muse. Some more Baby Shinies. Gouging Fire EX, Full Arts with a Raging Bolt in another pile. And that is the end of that one. Moving on to collection number three. Luckily, all these are top loaded, so we'll see what we got here. Pinsir, some Flora, that's sweet. Diplin, I also like this one. Got a couple of those. Infernape, Frolas. Nice, so a bunch of Twilight Masquerade here. Of the shinies, a bunch of the full REXs, Bliss EX, that's a really cool one. I've been not really looking at the Japanese cards as much when they come out, uh, so a lot of these arts feel pretty new to me when I see them in English. Used to wait so long, you know, the leaks and everything, but we got a bunch of baby shinies but she's moved pretty good because people are always looking for them so almost impossible to rip to complete the set on those all right more coming up here i think most of this is the last three or four sets which is good because there's a lot of this that we don't have in stock right now so i keep saying i think paradox rift temporal forces would be Similar to PE, just not seem to be getting my hands on a lot of the all arts from those sets. So, I feel like they're going to be pretty low population out there later on, comparatively to some of the other stuff that people are ripping and pulling for, but still relatively affordable. This is a bunch of the new here, a lot of Lux Rays. Or the Greninjas. I gotta get these all sorted by this. Group them up. These are probably all just a couple bucks, dollar to two dollars. More Ace Specs. We'll buzz through those. All right, that's about 50% of that one. So let's get the remaining pile done, then I will show you what is mostly a really nice vintage collection we picked up, which is the bulk of the cost here. Cleffa. So these are character rares, City and Flames, which it seems like a lot of boxes are holding over a hundred bucks right now, which is not bad. Been seeing some reports of there just being nothing to back order and no reprints of some stuff, so don't know where all the printing's at. Which is crazy because how quickly we swap from English being at like the $80 a box, bottoming out. You can get the stuff for like 70 on TikTok coupon or your Japanese ever since EV Heroes. Just kept going up and up and up, and then you're paying 120 for pre order on 151. And as of today, making this video, 151 is like 47 bucks. And then um, general English sets are holding at like, I'd say 110 average from the Scarlet Violet block. I know you can get them a little cheaper depending on how hard you search. But in general, English is holding up pretty good where Japanese is uh, falling, which is 
It has to be somewhat related to their dollar right now. Got a bunch more of these. Those are cool. Never seen that one. Oh yeah, nice. Eva Tulip. We got a lot. All this is not all of it, but a lot of this needs to get priced before Sunday show. Here's the last stack of this collection, then we'll move into the final. As always, as I say, appreciate the thumbs up, any comments, appreciate the support, guys. Some of these backwards. I need to get the iron threads, all are, I think, or the iron treads. There's iron hands, but I don't know if there's another one. That all art's pretty sick. It's like 30 bucks. Oh, Groudon, this one. This one, then the Raichu and the Titar have jumped pretty significantly. So they're just hard to pull. Those ARs, seems like a lot of AR have the, each set has like an AR that outperforms a lot of the other stuff. All right, so here is the juiciest part of the video. Got some, I'd say like near mint to LP stuff on some vintage base and other sets. Um, take a look here. It's like a light play, maybe MP to check my list. I bought a lot of this like a month ago and I've been traveling around, had some personal things to take care of. So just hadn't been getting to the mail that quickly, but this is a repeat seller here. Brought me a few different lots that I've really enjoyed picking up. Always polyrath. You can always expect polyrath to be like a minty piece <laughs> of the collection you buy out. It's always like, nobody liked Polyrath. Nobody played with them. So here's some Jungle Hollows. These would be my priority for pricing up. Ooh, first edition, you know, Queen. It's not bad. And getting these on stream, there's a another first edition. Pinsir, Snorlax, always an easy move. Vaporeon, Venom Moth first, Vile Plume. Wiggly Tough. It's almost like a full set, feels like. I didn't actually check that, though. Articuno. Get a lot of requests for this card, but when it comes to picking up Fossil Hollow, it seems to be one that's missing quite often. Ditto. Hitmonlee. Hypno. Beautiful. Kabutops. Magneton. First edition Muck. We got the Raichu. Dark Dugtrio. So we're taking a little trip down uh, Wizards of the Coast Lane here in the, on our sets and our arts. Dark Slowbro, the dark rocket Pokemon always move pretty well. I'm sure most of you watching are already aware of the potential rocket set coming out. So we'll see what that shakes out to be. We get a, another print of dark Pokemon it would be really cool or some more um, trainer types too out of that. There's a Pichu. Now we got these ones sleeved. I'm gonna assume like these are the most minty, but I am blindly just dropping these on video for you guys. Oh, we got first Ed Jolteon. That's not bad. It's near mint, but it might be bordering on light play depending when I pull out. See the foil. Oh, Dragonite. Dragonite's a super good mover as well. Gengar. This one probably won't last, but one stream, but always sick to see the fossil Gengar. Got the Mole Trace, another one we don't see very much from that set. Here we go. We got the Evo Charizard. So this is like the only new card of a lot. These are about 50 bucks right now. Been holding pretty strong at that. Dark Dragon, I believe we just sold this last time I streamed. This one's a little funky cut at the top, but still like a near man copy. Last few cards are pretty sick. We got the Ho-Oh Neo Rev here, unlimited. That's like near mint as well. We'll see when I take it out though, but that's sick. And we've got a base set Charizard. It's not bad. I think this one was sold as LP. We'll double check there. Centering's pretty strong on it. Back has some whitening, but it's pretty sick. And then last card, we haven't handled this one in a minute. We got the Shining Kabutops from Neo Destiny. 
think it was sold as LP as well, which seems pretty fair based on the back. A lot less chance for scratches on hollows and such when you have such a small hollow, but this one will probably move pretty good. But this is like a few hundred bucks. I think it's like low 200s unlimited, but that is the latest four collection buys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you happen to be new or keep seeing our videos and haven't subscribed yet. And as always, thank you guys for watching.